Hey, it's Ben from Blades, Bows, and Bushcraft, and I wanted to show you guys this new novelty that I picked up. Or so I thought, until I started to take a look at it. I specifically got this for my 11-year-old son, Silas. Um, he saw a picture of this in one of the magazines and lost his mind on how cool it was. This is not my uh, cup of tea, but this is a CRKT Columbia River knife tool. My son calls it cricket, as did I at first, until I was corrected by a arrogant employee at Cabela's. I mean, what's the big deal? Anyway, I guess what's right is right. CRKT Kangi T-Hawk. Nice Kydex sheath. I could have uh, chosen a, a different device, not device, but tool when I picked this up. But I decided specifically to get this for Silas because I want him to be as excited about the outdoors, bushcrafting, hunting, axes, hatchets as I am. And I know that when I give him this, that he will be. Um, not my style. Again, when I first th saw it, I thought it was a novelty. I know a lot of the stuff that CRKT puts out as far as hatchets and axes um, have gotten pretty poor reviews with heads coming loose um, almost immediately. But if this head comes loose, you got problems. Because that's about a quarter inch thick, full tang carbon steel. Thins out ever so slightly down here. Fully mole compatible. It's got a nice Kydex sheath. I have no idea what all these holes and slots are for. I guess I got to do some research because... This was brand new when I got it, um, but didn't come with directions or anything. Like I said, I could have could have actually gotten a Grand's Fours Brook hand hatchet, but I decided to go with this unselfishly, just for my son. The only thing I've done to this is taken the Lansky puck and taken the original coating off of the one, two, three, four cutting blades. Um, not super practical for bush crafting. You're not going to be pounding any stakes in with this bad boy here. But um, if this is the kind of thing I got to do to get Silas, you know, out there and excited to use that's exactly what I'm gonna do I have no problem evolving a little bit just to get him out there and excited so after taking a real good look at this I, I am very impressed with the quality of this it's about 14 inches long it's very comfortable you can choke up on this very very well so finer work anything like that the only thing that's not real practical about it is the is the butt here and uh you know it's probably the thing that he thought was the coolest is the most impractical thing about this but um i believe it retails over a 100 bucks i might have said that already but um, definitely a cool acquisition, and he is going to be ecstatic when I do give this to him. Um, and it just, I'm not afraid to evolve a little bit, um, get away from the wood grain stuff, just to get my sons involved and excited about getting out in the woods with me. So I encourage you all to do the same. So, you know, give me a like, hit subscribe. And uh, we will talk to you guys soon. Thanks.